All right, so now we're underneath the bottom. So time for some of the fun stuff. So we'll start getting some things out of the way because we want to take our Vanos pump off over here because number one, there's a little tiny screen that sits between it and the block. We want to get that out because that's our little Vanos pickup screen right at the bottom. And also we want to get our high pressure line out of there and replace it just in case it's bad. We want to get some of this stuff out of the way. So we're going to start with this pickup line. And so we got two over here. And we're going to go take these leaves. So next on the list is going to be tackling the Vanos pump. So we'll move the camera around, see if we can get a better shot of taking this Vanos off. All right, so we're set back up. So now let's get our scribe. We're going to find some, some nice spots on this Vanos pump scribe real quick. Let's get us a flashlight up here. And we just want to make a little outline. You don't want to cut the metal. We don't want to do much damage, but we do want to kind of get us a way to indicate where we are. So I'm going to take a scribe. And I'm just going to scribe into the aluminum a little bit. So I can get my positions. And then we're going to wipe that off. One, make sure we got a scribe line. And then two, make sure we didn't accidentally introduce any metal shaving. So there's one side of it. And over here on the other side, on this other bolt, we can put a scribe as well. And this is just going to get us close to back where we were. It's not going to be used to actually set the set the lash <coughs> we just gotta have us a good reference so we can get back to it once we bolt it up and we can tap it around scrub on this side all right so now we got it all scrubbed let's start getting that thing freed up that one with the carrier so it's got a it's got a sleeve on it to make sure you don't damage it okay so this kind of hits right here so we're going to loosen that one up a little bit there we go so we've got him loose so now he'll spin down there for us so the tensioner is pretty much out of the way but the top tensioner is still pushing. So now when it comes down to this taking the chain loose, what we're gonna this piston up here is gonna come down. And so we gotta be real careful with this tensioner up here. As you can see it's pushing on the chain. When I take this off and slide the gear off, push up on it, I'm gonna be careful not to lose the piston. And we're gonna break this one loose. So you can see it tightens up against the chain so we just want to get a grip on it grab something right. and there's no nothing in front of that so now what we got to do is get the chain tension off so we can pull that sprocket Right, so, turn your fingers off. What we want to do is push up on the guide, and then we're going to pull the gear off. Now, remember, when I let go of this up top, 
there's a spring under that. So I gotta hold up on it with my other finger. I'm gonna let that chain lay down. And then I'm gonna ease this down. And there we go. So now we got that one in place. Okay, so that's got the two pumps disconnected. You can take the gear off the chain if you want to. Note the direction of it. It's got marking on the front where it says Germany. The back side doesn't. So the writing goes outward on the gear. And just to make things easier, we'll go ahead and use a soft hammer. I'm gonna break that free. Two crush washers, one on either side. You should be buying those as part of your kit. And we're ready to drop the vandal pump. Some people theorize that you can just drop this vandal's pump a little and you can get that vandal flying out. But for me, I'll just get it and show you while I'm at it. Inside of here is a little screen. So hiding in between, let's see if I can get it in the camera. So hiding in between the pump and the block is this little filter, a little pickup screen. And so what we want to do is actually drop that pump down so we can change that out just in case it's picked up any particulate. All right, so three bolts holding on. So far, nothing's really been torqued down very hard. So there went the screw, and here comes the plunger and the spring. And there comes the vandal's pump. All right, so up inside of that hole up there is still the piston that goes on the end. But all of this comes out. So it's gonna have to get something to hold that up in there when we go to reassemble it. So it's pretty open up in there and we should be able <clears throat> to go to the top and pull that line out and do that replacement. So we're just gonna look at things, kinda see how everything looks inside of here. So far it's all looking pretty good. So what we could do is just go ahead and pull this old pump. It'll make it a lot easier to get to that first two sets we can drop it out so we got everything here we'll leave that loose for right now we can push it back up to where it's supposed to be just for reference yeah. and out came after a little bit of sitting out came the little piston and so this little plunger sits on top of this little spring and this is the unit that goes up inside of the hole. That's your uh, tensioner uh, piston. So this sits on top of the spring, then the spring and just the plunger. And so all that rides together. So when we get ready to do the reassembly, we'll change all of those out and uh, we should be in good shape. All right, so we got our six millimeter regular Allen wrench and we can reach right up in there. So we're gonna See if we can't break that one free. Uh, he's a monster. Out comes the pump and a little more oil. So what we're gonna do now, as you can see it in the camera, is we're gonna take that Vanos line out of the top. It has to go up and out of the top. 
So, next step will be to go back to the top, see if we can pull that vanos line out of there cleanly so we don't get anything in our mano system. And away we'll go. Oh, I did want to look now that that pump's off for the vanos pump. Right here is that little screen. And so what we want to do is just get something, screwdriver or something, and just pop that screen out because this will be the first thing that lets us know if we've seen any issues. So, this is that first tiny little screen right there that uh, goes from the Banos. And so we wanted to get that out of there. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like there's anything in it. So that's a really good sign. All right, so let's get set up. We'll go to the top and uh, we'll take this Banos line out of here.